I want to talk about the Hubble Space Telescope. So I reported on this about a month ago. The Hubble Space Telescope went down because of its computers being completely outdated. Um, sometime back in the 80s, I believe it was like 1989. The computer was um, like it's functioning on ancient antique computers. I mean, it's been up there for quite some time. And they finally got it back up and running. NASA revives ailing Hubble Space Telescope with switch to backup computer. It is back. It was powered up once again. NASA was able to successfully switch to backup computer um, on the observatory on Friday following weeks of computer problems. On June 13th, Hubble shut down after a payload computer from the 1980s that handles the telescope's science instruments suffered a glitch. Now over a month since Hubble ran into issues when the Hubble team uh, thinks were caused by spacecraft's power control unit, NASA switched to backup hardware and was able to switch the scope back on. With Hubble back online, with this backup hardware, the Hubble team is keeping a close watch to make sure everything works correctly, according to a statement from NASA. And I'm really excited because I love the Hubble Space Telescope. It has given us incredible pictures over the years, which, um, you know, NASA tends to have to put them all together to make like an image that we can see because I mean it takes really far out uh, pictures now I'm really looking for the James Webb telescope which was supposed to be out in 2015 delays 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 uh, it's supposed to be up by October now I don't know if that's going to be up and running by October uh, but supposedly the flight to bring it into space is going to happen this year and the James well, uh, James Webb Telescope completely blows the Hubble out of the water because, I mean, the Hubble is working on computers from the 80s. You can imagine when we send some new technology into space, which doesn't have to see through atmosphere, clouds, you know, anything. Uh, it's out in space. And that's why it gets such amazing pictures. Included in this switch to backup hardware, the team brought the backup PCU online as well as the backup command unit, science data formatter, which is on the other side of the science instrument and command and data handling unit. According to the statement, PCU diverts power to SIC and DH while the CU SDH or SDF formats then sends data and commands through the, throughout the scope. Other pieces of hardware were also swapped to their backup versions to allow the telescope to function. After carefully switching to an alternative hardware on Hubble, the team turned on the scope's backup payload computer, loaded it with flight software, and returned Hubble to normal operations mode, according to the statement. Just close that real quick. Um, in addition to monitoring the scope and its new hardware, following this changeup, the Hubble team has also begun recovering Hubble science instruments from the safe mode configuration that they entered following the June 13 glitch. Getting all of the science instruments back online will take more than a day, according to the NASA statement, because the team has to ensure that the instruments are at a stable temperature and are able to run safely. After the telescope's science instruments are out of safe mode, the Hubble team will calibrate them and return to science work, according to the statement. This is not the first time that Hubble had a technical issues in space, but the telescope, which launched aboard Space Shuttle Discovery in 1990, has not been serviced by astronauts since 2009, with the shuttle program ending just two years later. Despite some technical bumps in the road, like a flaw with its primary mirror that was fixed in 1993, Hubble has consistently captured some of the most breathtaking views of the cosmos ever seen. And I agree. You know what? Let's just do let's do this. Hubble uh, best pictures. Let's just do a quick. I mean, here we go. Best Hubble photos after 25 years. That works. Daily Beast. Uh, reject cookies. Now let me just use Brave because it's fantastic and block everything. All right. Well, I'm sure you guys have seen this picture. Right? This is one of the most iconic pictures of space that we've seen. It's like the pillars of something, right? Hold on. Oh, it just ended up. Hold on. Give me a sec. Let me just uh, reset that. 
No. All right. I will allow scripts and reject save settings. Okay. Let me do his trick. Oh, it's not working. I want to show you guys these awesome pictures. All right, fine. We'll just go through duck duck. I mean, look at these amazing photos. Look at these insane photos from space. I mean, space is beautiful. I, I love looking at space. In fact, my on my monitor, which I currently don't have because I don't have my uh, my on my office, um, it's one of the largest pictures um, ever taken, and it's insane. It's basically our Milky Way, um, and which is billions of stars. Just our Milky Way Milky Way alone is billions of stars. That's crazy to think about. Our Milky Way, our galaxy, where we live in this huge, massive universe. I mean. The beauty of what we see is is just it's mind blowing. It's incredible. I could look at these photos all day. But I won't. 